Hi everybody, welcome back and welcome to Friday Souls, which isn't really Friday Souls because it's on a Sunday. Hopefully next week I'll be back into my regular groove again with all of that. Um, but I just want to give you a little update what I have made this week, what I'm going to make or fingers crossed make next week. I've got a couple of little things to show you at the end, so hang on in there. And yeah, just my normal sort of weekly chatty catch up that I do. Um, so my name's Alison and welcome to my channel, so like dot A. And if you're new, Hello, um, good to see you. Um, so, I just wanted to start by a couple of little thank yous really. I wanted to say thank you to everybody who wished me happy birthday last week and to everybody who um, kind of wished me well with my surgery or has been in touch and asked me how I was doing afterwards. So, little update, I'm doing fine. I've got no pain in it at all, a little, little bit of an ache. I'm resting it as much as I can in between um, running my Slimmer World groups and doing my sewing classes. Um, but I'm behaving myself. Everybody keeps saying, rest up, and I am. Um, it's just hard work because I've got to walk on my heel. I'll put a picture in of the footwear that I've got to wear for six weeks. You will be so jealous. Um, I'm surprised I've not blinged it up or something by now. But anyway, and I have to say, I have been a little bit, I was a little bit morning yesterday or maybe the day before. Um, I think it's more frustration that I can't drive. So you get that used to kind of just going out the house whenever you want to, don't you? Um, but people have a lot worse things going on. So yeah, enough about that. But thank you for all the best wishes. So what have I been up to? Um, so I am going to tell you about this dress because... I'd recorded a vlog that had this dress in and then I re-recorded it and afterwards last week I thought I didn't talk about this dress. So Suzanne, you know who you are. You've been watching for the fabric going missing over there. You know I made it before we went on holiday. So this is the Tilly and the Buttons indigo dress. It's the same style as the pink and red spotted one that I made in my collaboration with Rowan the Yorkshire Soul Girl. And um, with that one, I did do a, a proper cuff. With this one, I've just done like an elastic um, cuff. I did put a little sort of additional cuff on and then I just decided to put elastic in it. Um, I'll drop some pictures in. I've got those. Um, I made it and it wasn't quite long enough. See if I can show you this because it won't really maybe come out on camera. So um, I'll, st I'll stand up rather than trying to flash you. So I made it and obviously it's directional in the print. And this was the, I can see if I can see, you can see, this was the finished ruffle length. So that's the dress, the first ruffle. And then I added on because I just had enough fabric another ruffle so one of the ruffles the print goes around one way and one goes around the other way but completely not bothered by that at all um because it just it's not trailing on the floor but it just wasn't long enough for me um, and i'm really enjoying i don't know why i keep going like that it's a um viscose chalice from rainbow fabrics kilburn which is new look fabric it's current season i think they sell it in dresses and skirts i've had a lot of compliments on it i've worn it a couple of times and as normal it's got my sage brush um, Friday Pack and Company sleeves in it. So hopefully by now I'll have dropped a picture in. It's such an easy make. It's the Tilly and the Buttons Indigo bodice with my normal adjustments on and um, and then, yeah, just the gathered tiered skirt. Um, it's probably my favourite pattern at the moment, actually. And I'm really enjoying the, the print on, on this. It's an easy pull on and wear. I didn't put ties in this time. I actually ran it in a little bit, but it's um, already a little bit loose, which is pretty good. Um, so what have I managed to make this week? Well, I'll tell you what, I've had a, a bit of an awareness, a bit of perspective on... Um, how much I take for granted, how easy it is to just jump on my sewing machine and go. I've got a machine set up downstairs, the faff that I got last week. Well, I've faffed on with that because I've only sat at it once. Um, and then I've got a machine upstairs, an overlocker upstairs. I've got an overlocker downstairs I could use. It's normally all up here. Um, but A, I've not always felt great. Um, both of my sewing machines I can use without a foot. And thank you to the lady who pointed out the absolute obvious to me that I never even thought about that there's a singer hand crank over there. So if need be, I could just hand crank it. Needs a little bit of TLC. Still, it's not quite stitching right. Um, and Carl's on that. But currently, he's kind of doing everything, all the running around for us. So I can't ask him to do much more. Um, but I have made something. It's almost finished. In fact, by the time you see this, it probably will be finished. So I got this fabric from the swap table at 
um, so too. So we have a swap table. You can uh, you donate things, patterns or fabrics or haberdashery items, and you can either swap or if there's a fabric you just like, you can make a donation and it always goes off to charity. So I think I made a donation for this. And um, there was two pieces, and it gave me um, Ted Baker vibes. The fabric. It's a scuba, and I've never made with scuba before. Before <laughs> when I when I picked it up, I think it was Tamlin and somebody else. I went, "What's scuba like?" And they went, "Warm." <laughs> okay um but i just thought go for it i wanted to try out you might remember from last week's vlog the um peppermint magazine jersey i'm sure it's called the jersey dress it's a raglan sleeve dress it's meant to have cuffs on and a, a cuff band around your knee um, and i didn't I, I when i got this fabric i thought there would be enough to make sort of a bit of a sweater type of jumper top and um, but i was really surprised when i put it out that i managed to get the the the, le the dress i think it takes two meters the dress pattern i did omit the pockets i just had to go straight up and that wasn't because i didn't want pockets in i know you know i don't like pockets i am going to do it in a different fabric with pockets but it was it was literally just because there wasn't enough fabric to do them um, and i'm not bothered i did the neckband but that's all overlocked on as you can see but i do want to um either top stitch it with mariflex or go around it on the cover stitch machine which is just here um, and then all I've got left to do, it's meant to have, you can see it's still got the overlock on, it's meant to have a cuff on. The word of caution I would say with the pattern is it's all been great. I cut this on the 16 and I'm really probably a 16 to 18. It was it was just on my sizes, same with the arms, but I thought I'll give it a go. It's a twelve. it's not the end of the world. I'm really surprised. I'm, I'm not going to show you a picture of it yet because it's not finished and I haven't took one and I'm hobbling and just be sympathetic oh, that sounded really pathetic didn't it um but when i cut the pieces out for the cuffs i knew they didn't you know when something doesn't look right but i still cut it anyway how stupid is that really and then after i'd cut it not before i lifted the cuff pieces out from the tilly and the buttons billy jumper and there was a good couple of inches difference in them so i would have never got my hand through those i mean you know i haven't got huge hands they're pretty normal and um, i have got enough fabric if i wanted to put the cuff on but actually it looks i'm not a shift dress fan it looks like a bit like a shift dress it just looks actually really nice on me it surprised me because i usually don't like anything that sort of shape um but i have to say i cut the paper pattern out one day and then I had to go and sort of sit down because I'd been at work on the morning. And then another day, I think I was uploading. And while the upload was going through, I just sat at this overlocker and did um, the raglan sleeve pieces. And then once they're done, it's such an easy make, guys. Typical raglan sleeve. Um, I probably would have normally put the neckband on then, but I just went round um, the sides with the overlocker because I thought I'm not spending time putting the neckband on if I go around the... Um, underarm and down the side seams and it's too small um, anyway when I put it on I was like oh this actually fits so I think I, I probably would make the pattern in a um, in a jumper in the future I'd probably make it a little slightly wider than it is um, and it is meant to have a hem band on the bottom but the same thing with that I've just decided that I'm just going to turn it over it well and go around it with the cover stitch machine and um, because it just looks better than I think it would for me with the hem band on. Um, so there's definitely going to be some more of those. Um, it's like a tealy blue rather than a navy blue. It's a really nice colour. Um, I did really well with this. I'll hold it up against me. I've got this right flower right in the middle. Um, because obviously with it being two remnant pieces, it was a bit of a fiddle around job. But yeah, I'm really, really pleased with that um, indeed. So I will just pop that over there and what else am i what else am i on with so i had this dress and that one and i've had how many classes have i had so by the time this vlog goes out i'll have had four um sessions in my sewing school of i never know what to call it classes school don't know anyway of session two which is making the tote bag and then i've got one more next sunday which is the how to thread a machine running straight into the tote bag and then we move into the trousers so i did share this pattern before this is the license that i've bought uh, for the loungewear set of peppermint magazine so we're going to be making these trousers here 
either as trousers or pajamas whichever people want to do so the guys have just gone off with their information on this and um, i've just had a, a question so they're going to cut the paper pattern out we've had a look at we've had a look at fabric we've had a look at grain line bias nape all of the, with the fabrics all of those things that you that you need to learn about really and um, it's a pretty fairly easy it's a beginner's pattern this one and um, depending on the size it takes between 1.8 and 2 meters of fabric and um, on a standard fabric that's 1.4 meters wide so a wide fabric and um, so they're going to cut the paper pattern out and get their fabric and then bring it back to the next session, which is a couple of weeks time. And um, so honestly, I'll drop a couple of pictures in of the guys who did the bag. Some wanted photos taken with it, some didn't. Um, but you know what? I think we've all got that moment. I mean, I sold 30 years ago and then came back to it and started making masks. But do you remember that moment where you just made it? It might have been the simplest thing and it just gave you the greatest pleasure and joy. And that's what I'm seeing out of the guys, and it's lovely. And um, I'll put a picture of Helen in who made a bag with the shoes on, and she had a machine knew how to thread it. And throughout the session, there were things cropping up that she said, "This is where I would have just packed in and thrown in the towel before." And um, and I know Helen wanted to start on the trousers session, and I was like, "Come to the tote bag one because we're going to match up seams, we're going to add the line, and we're going to match everything up." And um, and she said it was definitely worth it, and she would have thrown in the towel otherwise. Um, and it's that moment, isn't it, where you know when you make a lined bag with straps and you turn it through, and it really looks like a bag. Um, just that woo <laughs> excitement in the room i absolutely love it um so i can't wait for more of more of that um so I, i'm going to do this week the trousers um because i want to kind of just check what the fit's like and um, i'll do them based on my standard size and then just in case there's any guidelines i need to give them so i'm probably going to cut these out and get started on them in the next couple of days i must have some fabric behind me that i can use for that i'll probably do them in like a pajama fabric um i think because i could do with some pajama bottoms so i'm definitely going to make that and i don't know if i shared this on my october sewing plans um but it was definitely one of the things I was going to do. And it's the carry cardigan. I know Tamlin from Sewn on the Times mentioned this. I got this as a freebie last year or the year before in a, um, one of the sewing magazines. Um, it's a Delia pattern. It takes three metres of fabric. And I, I, and I think I showed you this fabric last week. And I was going to make the jersey dress in it. But I did buy it to make the carry cardigan. It's from Charlotte So Affordable. It's an absolute gorgeous jersey. Um, and... I'm going to make the carry cardigan in it that's a definite so that's my plans for this week just to finish off the hems on the scuba dress to cut and make those trousers and then if i have time to get started on the carry cardigan because let's face it if i get that made and i get that made well that's what i'll be living in next week with my foot up happy days so <laughs> um i've got a couple of things to show you actually um so before I went on holiday, I was chatting to my lovely friend, Adam, from Adam Sews. I don't know why I went like that. That means I like really like him. He knows that anyway. Um, and I was asking him because um, I'd, I'd watched some of his um, fried sores when he was making bags and stuff. And he was talking about the zips that he used. So I messaged him to say, which company do you use? I mean, I've got like all the bog standard zips. And um, so I'm just checking my notes because he recommended a company called Purple Stitches. And I've got to say they arrived really, really quickly. And um, so I ordered, what did I order? Five meters of this zebra tape. I don't know if I can take that off. Yes, I can, it's on elastic. My nails are so long, they're desperate to get done next week. They look so pretty, but they're far too long. Um, so this has like that sort of unicorn colour and it's really cute. But what Adam says is like really you can put that into any bag because I'm starting to think about Christmas. Obviously we've got um, mine and Adam's um, vlogger tour and Instagram competition, a gift to November. I'll drop another picture in about that. Um, but I'm wanting to make some um, like makeup bags and things like that for gifts. So I wanted to get something that just looked a bit nicer. So I got five metres of that. That will keep me going for a while. And I got a few. I'm just going to kind of hold them up to show you. They look like earrings. So these were... Oh, I've not got the prices on here, actually. Um, so let's start with a star. 
How pretty is that? I mean, can you imagine these with this? I don't know how well I'm going to be able to show you this. I might be getting kind of a bit carried away with myself. Hang fire. How nice would they look? Um, and then there's a plain one, but also in that sort of... Is it called unicorn? Is that what it's called? I don't know. I might be just making up something. Um, iridescent rainbow. That's what it's called on the website. So they're both in iridescent rainbow. That's got the rainbow on. Um, zebra zipper tape with rainbow coiled teeth. Size 5. That's what I got. And then you get the pulls to match the size. And then I also... You know I've got a thing about daisies, don't you? <laughs> so I ordered these. So one's in silver and one's in gunmetal. So to give you some idea of proportion, there's my thumbnail, so wider and longer than my thumbnail, but I just think they're absolutely lovely. And I wouldn't necessarily use them on everything, but on special gifts I would. But actually, if you were making like a fabulous dress or something and you wanted the zip on show, why not have that? I would have to be really careful because of my metal allergy. Um, which is why I've got, I don't know, some guy came from London to show them how to insert some plastic thing in my toe instead of metal. I didn't have anesthetic, well, I did have anaesthetic, I had nerve block, so I was awake with my headphones in listening to James. And then when they were finished, I couldn't, didn't feel a thing. Um, I could hear pe people like the staff in the theatre going, oh, that's beautiful. If I ever get my toe done, I'm getting it done like that. That's beautiful, because you're meant to have a big metal pin sticking out the end, I don't. Happy day. Anyway, by the by, sorry if I've just made you feel sick if you're having your tea when I'm talking about the wound. Um, then it was my birthday last week, which was totally kind of not really my birthday because I was, yeah, having surgery. But my, I had bought <laughs> for my daughter to give me. She has sent me the most beautiful bunch of flowers, I've got to say. Um, these um, pattern weights, which are from Something Bear. I'm using my scissors to get them out of the packaging because otherwise there'll be a, a nail flying through the air. Quilted Bear. They're available all over in the UK. I've seen them in Boys and I think these I just got these off Amazon. So I got the sewing ones. I'll put that back in it now. I'll show you them properly. Um, so the sewing machine. You've got a, a table with a cup and pin cushions on. Your iron and things there. And they're cute. I was, I'm surprised by how heavy they are. Um, so I've not used those yet. They'll get tried out this week. And then, because I wasn't like knocked out and I wasn't asleep and I had my phone and I was a bit bored waiting to be, you know, like how you're there for a few hours to make sure you're all right and waiting to be going home. It was quite dangerous really because I had free Wi-Fi and I had my phone. So I ordered some fabric. You knew I was going to go there with that, didn't you really? Um, it had to happen. So it's the first time I've ordered from... Alice Caroline, who has Liberty Fabric. You know where this is going already, don't you? Um, and other fabrics as well. And I think I'd got an email or something pinging through like you do, you know, with the discount on. So I was like, well, why not? Um, but two other things. I'm going to show the fabric. I only got one type of fabric. But I'm going to show you these first because I don't know if you can just buy this straight from Liberty, but I just think it's genius. You can buy Liberty Bias Tape. Why didn't I know about this before? So this is a, um, would it be a two inch maybe? I'm not sure, a double fold bias tape. Sort of fairly standard size. I ordered two lots. Um, I think they both are, I think they're both Betsy print. I'm not sure. Um, that's a turquoise one. And this is a something Lady Die one. I've just ordered another one of this one because what i was thinking with these is well a couple of things you know how we all love labels i mean hands up if you don't love labels but i was thinking two things sometimes i can never work out which is the back and the front of some of my dresses and some of my trousers i mean you can work it out but it takes a bit of fiddling with so i thought if i've got little bits of it i could literally just sort of fold it up like like that and sew it into the seam just so i know it's the back um, but also, um, where am I going with this? I'm going somewhere. Right, so if I was making a jacket, which I do want to make another one of, like the Sewn Bay Quilted Jacket, I made mine out of chambray denim pieces. Um, it's meant to be a patchwork jacket, but you can make it out of anything. But you bias bind the edges. So I thought, how cute would it be to use 
the simplest of fabrics, linen or something like chambray, and then do your bias binding in your Liberty fabric. Or do your bias binding along the top of the pockets. I just thought, yeah, I know you can do that with any fabric, but you would know, like I've watched Mrs. Harris Goes to Paris, and I'm sure I wasn't the only one going, how come if she's a cleaner, she's running around doing what looks like Liberty fabric dress and a pinny apron, coverall, whatever you want to call it. Um, obviously, it's a movie. It's not real world. But I was kind of, oh, it is a little dreamy movie to go and see. I mean, you know, it's probably not Oscar winning, but I really enjoyed it. And actually, Carl did as well. So, yeah, we've watched that this week. Um, I've not watched the original one. But, yeah, let me know if you've watched it. Anyway, I'm just blathering on. Two rolls of that and another one on the way. I think they were £3 for three metres, which... I think I think it's pretty reasonable and it saves me making it result so the fabric that I got was this it's called meadow oh, this is where I'm really rubbish at this it's called meadow something and I've just ordered another meter because I've got two meters it's a tunnel on <sighs> it's just beautiful it's so soft and um, obviously it's quite a a summery fabric now i am still sticking with my wearing bright colors in the winter but i do think this will be a summer make um because well, it's just gorgeous isn't it i've just got a little bit put her, put her on that on there and um, so i've ordered it was reduced from 25 pound a meter to 20. so i've got actually i think i've ordered another meter and a half so if i ordered three meters it came out with 60 pounds and I'm going to make a dress out of it and that would be a real treat but I would know every time I put it on I would feel really special in that and if I wanted to buy a really really nice dress from somewhere I can't remember the last time I did but I'd pay that for a really nice dress and um, so I don't know what dress I just wanted to share it share the loveliness of it with you um, oh. so do yeah if you do go on that website sorry I've just totally lost myself did you see me go um, yeah, just check because some of them are quilting co cotton and some of them are tan alone and there is quite a lot reduced because i've just been on when did i last go on friday to order and um, so i've ordered a little bit more of that so because it was like if you're getting three meters you're saving 15 pound on the price of it um do i sound like i'm trying to justify my purchase i mean i did text carl at one point and say look they haven't told me i can go home yet but i think you need to come for me soon because i've started buying and then when I got home, Rainbow Fabrics had their drop on the night at six o'clock. So I was a little bit worried that I might sleep through it, but I didn't. And randomly, yet again, and honestly, we didn't speak to each other about this. I got exactly the same fabrics as Ruan. The navy one with the big white flowers on and the visco, I think it's a viscose chalice with tiny little coloured flowers. So I'll show you that when it arrives. It's a little bit of delay on my navy one. Um, they've been in touch with me but it will arrive so I'll be showing you that because I've kind of already got a plan of what I want to do with that so there we go the only thing I wanted to update you with really at the end was last week in my vlog I talked about the fibre mood magazine that I'd got I'd watched Kate on the fold line talk about it I'm going to make the cakey dress and then I went online to try to download the patterns, which was what she'd sort of alluded to in the video. Anyway, I've been in touch with them. They've apologised. Um, they said Kate kind of just sort of said it said it wrong, which is fine. Um, so with Fibre Mood, you either trace off from the magazine and add your seam allowance on, um, or you can download them from the website and pay for them and then obviously print them at home or print them off. <sighs> I was a bit like that, I'll be honest. I mean, it's $14.99 and there are loads of patterns in it. I suppose I was being a bit ambitious, thinking that you would be able to download them. Um, I'm going to have a go at tracing it out, but not yet, because it stresses me out and I can't be on my foot for that long. Um, but I just wanted to clear that up because I know I didn't want to think that some of you had bought it on the back of that. If you download the pattern, I think it's seven euros to download it. And then if I sent it off for printing, um, it's going to be like another sort of th three to five pounds. And then I thought, well, by the time I bought the magazine, now, there are a few things in it I'd like to make, but particularly the um, Kika dress. 
thought by the time I bought the magazine, that's like I'm up to £25 and I've not like even bought the fabric yet. So I'm going to have a go at Trace and wish me luck. I'll let you know how it goes. So yeah, that's that's it. No Kylie Minogue at the end of this one. Sorry guys, just a normal week. Um, but there you go. So take care, happy sewing and I'll see you soon.